we're going to combine some of the concepts we've learned in the last few videos about conditionals. And what we're going to do is use multiple conditional operators in our code. And that's sort of more realistic. Often Java programs will have lots of conditionals and they'll combine both of the conditional operators, the or and the and. And so that's what I've done here. Now, if you take a look at this, I've got two or conditions right here. This is the first and here is the second. And then they are embedded within the overall condition, which is an and condition. So what we've essentially done here is added an extra layer. Now you'll look at the code from the previous video. If we start adding extra layers, we just need an extra set of parentheses. That's all we really need to do. So you can see this has three sets of parentheses and the code from the previous video has two. So that's what you do if you want to start layering your conditionals. Now let's say we put another uh, conditional within these parentheses. Then we would have four. We would need actually four parentheses. Now you'll notice that the first OR conditional is going to test against these first two variables, A and B, and our second OR conditional is going to test against these two variables, C and D. And depending on how these two OR conditionals test out, it will affect the overall condition, which is an AND condition, of course. So let's walk through some of these. Now, we don't have to walk through all of the outcomes because you know how these resolve now. It's pretty much the same thing. Now, as you can see, everything is going to test out to true. So if we run this, this should turn out to be true. And it is. Now, let's go ahead and make the first variable test out to be false, and we'll make the C variable test out to be false as well. Now we know that the OR conditional from the video we did a few videos ago, both conditions have to be false in order for the OR conditional to test out to be false. So these still should test out to be truth, both sides. And that means the AND conditional, which you'll remember needs both sides to be true, will still turn out to be true. So let's go ahead and run this. And there you can see, we got the expected outcome, which is true. Now let's go ahead and make D false. So we'll make this 18. Now this OR conditional now will test out to be false. So the AND conditional now should also test out to be false. So let's go ahead and run this. And there you can see we got the expected outcome. So now you can go ahead and play around with all the different outcomes. And you can also switch some of these operators. So you could make this an AND operator. Why don't you do that and just test the different outcomes. And this will get you more familiar with the conditional operators, which are very, very important in any language. Okay, we will move on to a new subject in the next video. See you guys then.